Today I want to talk a little bit about obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD. Of course, one of the jokes related to this, if you're really OCD, it should read CDO. It's got to be in alphabetical order. But all joking aside, it is a serious disorder that can hamper people's life and it is characterized by the recurrence of unwanted or distressing thoughts, the need to repeat behaviors or rituals, and it can get to the point where it uh, gets in the way of someone's normal living from their ability to perform their job or other ordinary functions, and that they begin to realize that these thoughts or these behaviors are not ordinary or normal. They're not reasonable, and they get in the way of daily activity. Um, usually these characteristics, their typical onset is in childhood or adolescence as it shows up in once again the recurrence of the distressing thoughts or the repetitious behaviors. And uh, usually when we think about this recurrence of unwanted distressing thoughts, uh, one of the things that comes to mind that's fairly common to most people but in someone with OCD would be uh, all consuming would be the idea of did I leave the iron on? Did I forget to turn off the stove? Are the lights still on? Uh, did I lock the doors? Okay, these are ordinary things that we sometimes forget and think about and then we go check and we're okay or we can move on. Someone with OCD though has the recurrence of this unwanted questioning over and over and over and over and over again to the point that they actually can't do anything else but think and worry about did I lock the door, did I lock the door, did I lock the door? Uh, did I, is the iron off, is the iron off, is the iron off? And they've actually got to repeatedly check and even after they've checked the thought is still there and they have to go back and recheck. The thought is still there and they go back and recheck. And it's this distressing situation that causes the most problems. Now it's not just those ordinary thoughts that we think of that come back repetitiously. Sometimes they include thoughts that are distressing or disturbing because of the nature of the thoughts that repetitiously come up. Uh, I might hurt someone or have I hurt someone physically in some way or another and it comes up repeatedly. I might hurt someone or I have hurt someone or I want to hurt someone. Anyway, it's the repetition of these unwanted distressing thoughts that are part of the obsessive nature of the disorder. The compulsion comes in under the behavior, the need to repeat behaviors or rituals. This would be the endlessly arranging things in a particular order, obsessing over and uh, consistently feeling a compulsion to put things precisely where they belong. Um, ritualistic behaviors that have to be repeated before anything can be done further. The constant washing of hands. Uh, the constant counting of things. Things that are, once again, seen to be not necessarily reasonable and they inhibit or interfere with daily activity. So the obsessive thoughts, the compulsive behavior um, get in the way and usually treatment for this involves cognitive behavioral therapy and antidepressants to try to get the person to deal with whatever it is that they're stuck on mentally that's uh, compelling or moving them forward into these obsessive thoughts or this compulsive behavior. Uh, there is help for those who have this, thankfully. And uh, if you'd like to learn more about OCD and the things we've talked about here just briefly, you will find a link underneath this video. Click on it. It'll take you to a website with more information. And on that website, you'll also find a link to an ebook that's ready for immediate download.